As chairman of the Niagara County Economic Development Committee, it is my pleasure to present the 2011 Niagara County Economic Address, a summary of our economic development successes in 2010, and a look at our priorities in 2011. As you know, the Niagara County Center for Economic Development is comprised of the Niagara County Department of Economic Development under the direction of the Niagara County Legislature and Chairman Bill Ross and the Niagara County Industrial Development Agency under the direction of the Niagara County IDA Board and Chairman Henry Soloma. Through the hard work of these agencies, we continue to move Niagara County's economy forward, which is evident by a number of significant advances in 2010. The accomplishments of the Niagara County Center for Economic Development over the course of 2010 can best be categorized as planning and implementation efforts focused on development, training for businesses and public officials, new tools to enhance economic development efforts, programs to create new jobs and attract new investment, marketing Niagara County's opportunities and locational advantages, outreach to businesses, developers, and public officials, and funding to advance economic development projects. In 2010, the Niagara County Center for Economic Development continued to update and implement key plans focused on development in Niagara County, including the following. Niagara County Comprehensive Economic Development Strategy, Niagara Communities Comprehensive Plan 2030, and Erie Niagara Framework for Regional Growth. The Niagara County Comprehensive Economic Development Strategy, or SEDS, was updated by the Department of Economic Development under the guidance of the Niagara County SEDS Committee. The department works with the SEDS Committee and other economic development partners to update the document annually to ensure that it reflects Niagara County's current economic development priorities. The report is filed annually with the U.S. Department of Commerce Economic Development Administration. In 2010, as in past years, the SEDS report bolstered Niagara County's efforts to secure grant funding for economic development projects. In addition, the SEDS report provided the basis for Niagara County projects included in the regional agenda, the economic development strategy prepared for the wider Buffalo Niagara region with Niagara County's participation. The SEDS report continues to help Niagara County achieve its economic development goals by laying out formal strategies that the department of economic development and Niagara County's economic development partners continue to follow. The Niagara Communities Comprehensive Plan is another plan that the Department of Economic Development continues to implement. Since the adoption of the plan by the County Legislature in July of 2009, the Department has been engaged in several initiatives identified as priorities in the plan. These initiatives have been carried out in connection with existing Niagara County programs, as well as in connection with implementation of other plans, including Niagara County's Comprehensive Economic Development Strategy and the Erie and Niagara County's Framework for Regional Growth. In 2010, as part of the implementation of the Comprehensive Plan, the Department of Economic Development expanded the Niagara County Brownfields Program to facilitate additional site assessment and cleanup activity throughout Niagara County. The department also developed new geographic information systems, GIS tools, to better track, map, and analyze data, improving project planning and review capabilities, as well as the ability of the Niagara County Center for Economic Development to respond to requests for information on development opportunities. The department also improved the Niagara County Planning Board project review process by developing a new project referral guide and staff review list. These materials provide stronger clarification on a project submission requirements and the project review process. In addition, the materials incorporate key strategies from the Niagara Communities Comprehensive Plan and the Framework for Regional Growth to better connect project review with consideration of adopted planning and development goals. In June of 2010, Niagara County was recognized for its work in developing the Niagara Communities Comprehensive Plan with an award for honorable mention in comprehensive planning received from the Western New York section of the American Planning Association. This award recognizes the quality of Niagara County's comprehensive plan and its importance in helping to achieve the vision for Niagara County as a world-class destination 
a center of national and international commerce, a community that values its rich natural resources, and a great place to live and raise a family. In 2010, the Department of Economic Development continued working with counterparts in Erie County to implement the framework for regional growth, the regional planning and development strategy for Niagara and Erie counties. As previously mentioned, these efforts were carried out in connection with the implementation of Niagara County's comprehensive plan, demonstrating a level of consistency across planning efforts. Specifically, Niagara County and Erie County collaborated to develop an online regional geographic information systems mapping application to provide information on framework policy areas and to assist staff in project planning and review. This was one of several GIS applications developed by the department in 2010. As previously mentioned, the two counties also developed materials to improve the way in which projects are referred to the county for review. In 2010, the two counties also convened a group of regional stakeholders to better coordinate framework implementation efforts. The working group meets regularly to discuss implementation priorities and has established GIS and communication subcommittees to examine key strategies advancing the framework. As part of the communication strategy, the two counties collaborated to present a session on the framework for regional growth at the American Planning Association New York Upstate Chapter Conference held in Niagara Falls in September. The working group is also coordinating efforts to apply for grant funding to support further framework implementation efforts. In 2010, the Niagara County Center for Economic Development facilitated a number of training opportunities for businesses and public officials, including the following. Payment in lieu of tax or pilot training seminar. Empire State Development Export Seminar, U.S. Department of Commerce Export Seminar, and training for local planning and zoning boards. The Niagara County Industrial Development Agency held its annual training seminar for local taxing jurisdictions. The purpose of this event was to educate assessors, school districts, and municipal employees on how the payment in lieu of tax or pilot process works and to work together on the administration of pilots throughout the county. The IDA also co-sponsored two seminars on the topic of exporting, one with Empire State Development and the other with the U.S. Department of Commerce. The seminars were well attended by companies from Niagara County and the wider western New York area. The Department of Economic Development co-hosted two training sessions for local planning board and zoning board of appeals members, as well as other public officials from across Niagara, Erie, and Orleans counties. The first training held in June was conducted by the New York State Department of State and was attended by over 240 people, while the second training, held in September, was conducted jointly by Niagara County and Orleans County planners and was attended by over 120 individuals. The trainings focused on planning, zoning, and environmental issues, including the State Environmental Quality Review Act, which helped to fulfill New York State mandated training requirements for local planning board and Zoning Board of Appeals members. In 2010, the Niagara County Center for Economic Development added a number of new tools and technologies to improve economic development efforts, including the following. CoStar Commercial Real Estate Database, Empire State Development Zoom Prospector, Buffalo Niagara Enterprise Commercial Listing System, Niagara Falls International Airport Adjacent Property Inventory, Niagara County GIS Mapping and Database Applications, and Niagara County IDA Training Room Technology Upgrades. CoStar is the leading provider of information services to commercial real estate professionals in the United States, the UK, and France. Over 16,000 leading firms use this information to make informed decisions about commercial real estate assets. The NCIDA uses CoStar to access a comprehensive database of commercial real estate information, including properties available for sale, space available for lease, comparable sales information, tenant information, 
property information for clients' websites, a director of industry professionals, analytic information, data integration, property advertising, and industry news. All of this information can be output in a professional format for dissemination to companies interested in a Niagara County location. Zoom Prospector is another tool that the Center for Economic Development is using, which can be accessed from a link on the Center's website. This tool simplifies the process of business attraction and site selection for expanding and relocating businesses. It does this by efficiently answering the main question that businesses have during the site selection process, namely, where can I find information on available property in Niagara County, such as buildings or developable land? Users are able to quickly and easily search for available properties that match user-defined criteria. The Buffalo Niagara Enterprise Commercial Listing System is yet another tool to access information on available sites and buildings in Niagara County. The Buffalo Chapter of the New York State Association of Commercial Realtors and the Buffalo Niagara Enterprise introduced this new online tool in 2010. The site offers a regional listing of available property that can be searched based on user-defined criteria, which is an essential tool for attracting commercial real estate development. The Niagara County Department of Economic Development received a grant from New York State that was used in part to fund completion of an inventory of available properties within a three-mile radius of the Niagara Falls International Airport. The information was compiled into a searchable database that serves as a tool for identifying and marketing properties for airport-related manufacturing, air cargo, warehousing and distribution, logistics centers, or airport maintenance. A link to the database is available on the Niagara County Center for Economic Development website. In 2010, the Niagara County Center for Economic Development began utilizing a number of new geographic information systems tools. These GIS applications improve the capability to track and analyze data, including business and development trends, which improves efficiency and productivity and allows the Center for Economic Development to more quickly respond to inquiries on a wide range of business and development considerations. The Center for Economic Development now has access to GIS applications for business tracking. This database and mapping application provides capability to track major industries in Niagara County, profile Niagara County companies, store contact information and business correspondence history, log responses to business surveys, and track financial incentives received from Niagara County Economic Development Partners. This greatly enhances the effectiveness of the Niagara County Business Growth and Retention Program. Brownfields Tracking. This database and mapping application provides capability to track brownfields in Niagara County, including their participation in county, state, and federal brownfields programs. The application tracks site assessment and cleanup activity, ownership and use history, and tax status. It also incorporates environmental and community data, as well as aerial imagery into the application. This greatly enhances the effectiveness of the Niagara County Brownfields program. Planning Board Referrals. This database and mapping application provides capability to track projects referred by local municipalities to the Niagara County Planning Board for review and recommendation. It provides capability to quickly ascertain which projects require referral to the County Planning Board based on location and it incorporates environmental data community data, and aerial imagery, which greatly improves the project review process. Real Property Database. This new Niagara County Real Property Tax Services Database provides the Center for Economic Development with the capability to quickly access parcel information, including ownership and sales history data, which greatly improves response time to inquiries from businesses and developers interested in Niagara County properties. Online GIS Mapping. This online mapping application, accessible from the Real Property Tax Services page 
on Niagara County's website provides public access to environmental and community data. This and other public mapping applications, such as the Federal Emergency Management Agency Flood Hazards Mapping Tool, enables the Center for Economic Development to quickly create thematic and reference maps and respond to inquiries from businesses, developers, citizens, and public officials. Framework Mapping. This online mapping application is equipped with powerful analysis and reporting tools that provide Niagara County and Erie County planners with capability to quickly access data from the framework for regional growth, including policy areas, centers and corridors, natural systems, heritage areas, and community features, which greatly enhances planning and project review. These new tools complement a range of existing Center for Economic Development, GIS capabilities that enhance project planning, development, and review capabilities. The Niagara County Industrial Development Agency has upgraded its former training room into a new state-of-the-art conference room. The conference room is located at the offices of the Center for Economic Development, the Vantage Center, 6311 Indicon Corporate Drive, Sanborn. The conference room can be rented for a variety of purposes, but is designed to provide companies and organizations a place to host meetings or presentations that require equipment that they may not have ac access to in their own offices. Equipped with the latest technologies, including audio and video conferencing capabilities, the room provides enough space for up to 50 people, but can also accommodate smaller meetings. New features in the conference room include a podium and microphone, computers with high-speed internet access, wireless internet, wireless microphones, surround sound speakers, a ceiling-mounted LCD projector with laser pointer remote and projection screen, a 65-inch high-definition LCD TV and DVD player, and an interactive smart board. The IDA made this investment to not only support small businesses in our community, but also to enhance its own communications to companies that the IDA is trying to recruit to Niagara County. In 2010, the Niagara County Center for Economic Development continued to administer the following successful economic development programs. Niagara County IDA Assistance, Empower Niagara Program, Brownfields Assistance, Micro Enterprise Program, and the Opportunity Zones Program. Niagara County Industrial Development Agency Assistance continues to attract and grow businesses in Niagara County, as you will see from the following slides. For the five-year period from 2006 through 2010, the Niagara County IDA approved a total of 56 projects anticipated to create over 1,400 new jobs in Niagara County. These projects involved nearly $360 million in new private investment. The companies involved in these projects represent the manufacturing, hospitality, tourism, medical facilities, housing, energy facilities, and warehousing distribution industries. This table shows the economic impacts of these projects broken down by year. As you can see, these projects also resulted in the retention of over 2,000 existing jobs in Niagara County. New private investment in Niagara County resulted in a number of visible impacts in 2010, including Yahoo. In 2010, Yahoo constructed a 155,000 square foot data center in the town of Lockport Industrial Park with the assistance of financial incentives from the town of Lockport Industrial Development Agency and energy allocation from New York Power Authority and project support from Niagara County. The Yahoo project represents one of the most exciting projects in Niagara County in recent years, not only because of the capital investment made and jobs created by the company, but because of the recognition that Yahoo has brought to Niagara County. This has opened the door for other data center projects, including the proposed Verizon Data Center 
in the town of Somerset. Since the Yahoo project was announced, the Center for Economic Development has received a number of calls from people interested in citing data centers in Niagara County. Viatran is another significant project. Viatran manufactures pressure and level measurement devices. The company outgrew its space and was contemplating moving out of New York State. The Niagara County IDA worked with Viatran to locate the company here. The company has leased 18,000 square feet of production and office space in the Woodlands Corporate Park in Wheatfield. Viatran will invest over $1 million, retain 45 existing jobs, and create 30 new jobs over the next three years. LaSalle Hospitality is also making visible impacts. LaSalle Hospitality is working with the Niagara County IDA to renovate and reopen the former Inn on the River at 7001 Buffalo Avenue in Niagara Falls. Currently under construction, this high-profile project involves redeveloping a vacant waterfront inn into a modern Four Points by Sheridan Hotel that will greatly enhance the hospitality and tourism interest industry in Niagara County. Renovations and improvements will amount to $5 million in new private investment, and the project will create 30 new jobs. Impressive Imprints, a specialty advertising company, is another visible project. Impressive Imprints constructed a new 6,500 square foot commercial building on Division Street in North Tonawana to accommodate the company's expansion as well as to provide additional commercial space. This expansion will result in the creation of three new full-time equivalent jobs and represents investment of over $650,000. The Niagara County Empower Niagara program has also demonstrated success in attracting and growing business in Niagara County. In 2010, the Niagara County Legislature approved two more allocations of low-cost power through the Empower Niagara program. The allocations were awarded to Bechet Thin Film and Edwards High Vacuum of Wheatfield. Edwards High Vacuum will be moving their corporate headquarters from Massachusetts to Niagara County. With these additional allocations, there are seven companies across Niagara County that have been approved for Empower Niagara Power. As you can see from this table, these seven companies have been approved for a total of 1.3 megawatts of electricity. With this power, these companies have invested over $18 million in their facilities, created 171 new jobs, and retained nearly 400 existing jobs in Niagara County. The Niagara County Brownfields program continues to prepare sites for redevelopment. In 2010, Phase 1 environmental site assessments were completed at six sites in Niagara County. Using nearly $12,000 in federal grant funding, and Phase 2 environmental site assessments were conducted at seven sites in Niagara County using nearly $160,000 in grant funding. Furthermore, the Niagara County Brownfields Cleanup Revolving Loan Fund program awarded a $90,000 subgrant to the village of Youngstown for remediation of the Youngstown cold storage site. This subgrant provided the necessary gap financing to allow the site to be fully remediated and ready for residential development. A $200,000 subgrant was also awarded to the city of Lockport for remediation of the formal Dusalt foundry site site that has been vacant for 15 years. In addition, a $250,000 loan for remediation of 1501 College Avenue in the city of Niagara Falls was issued to Santa Rosa Holdings for asbestos abatement, allowing demolition of existing buildings and redevelopment of the site. The Niagara County Microenterprise Program continues to encourage growth of small businesses and startup companies in Niagara County. The program provides technical assistance and training via classroom instruction to small businesses and startup companies that will create new jobs. Upon completion of the program, participants are eligible to apply for a small business loan 
up to $25,000 at below market rates and other favorable terms. In 2010, 32 participants graduated from the program. Overall, 645 individuals have graduated from the program since its inception in 1995. The Opportunity Zones program was created by the Niagara County IDA in 2009. This program allows the NCIDA to extend its current economic incentives to retail and tourism related businesses interested in locating in economically distressed commercial areas in the cities of Lockport, Niagara Falls, and North Tonawanda. The Opportunity Zones program provides an incentive for businesses to reinvest in our downtowns and will generate renewed commercial activity in these areas of the county. In 2010, the Center for Economic Development, working in conjunction with these three cities, established the geographic areas of the Opportunity Zones and gathered information on sites within these areas, which have been added to the Center for Economic Development's website. These sites and the Opportunity Zones program are now actively being marketed to new and existing businesses. In 2010, the Center for Economic Development was involved in a number of successful marketing campaigns to bring attention to Niagara County business opportunities, including the following. Data Center High Tech Marketing, Canadian Marketing Campaign, Niagara Falls International Airport Marketing, Vantage Center Vantage International Point, Google Ultra High Speed Broadband Proposal, and Niagara County Sport Fishing. Landing Yahoo in Niagara County was a huge boost to our visibility as an excellent location for data centers and other high-tech business ventures. Niagara County continues to work with our economic development partners, including the Buffalo Niagara Enterprise and Empire State Development, to expand marketing efforts targeting these industries. These efforts include marketing our region's opportunities and locational advantages, which are touted in a new data center marketing brochure developed by the BNE in 2010, which is pictured on this slide. In May of 2010, the Niagara County IDA placed an advertisement in the Business Guide, a publication distributed in over 300,000 copies of Canada's The Globe and Mail. In addition, 150,000 copies were distributed to business libraries and airports across Canada. The advertisement targeted business owners and company directors. It consisted of a full-page, full-color advertisement and a one-page article on Niagara County and Niagara County Industrial Development Agency, which you can see here. The message was similar to the NCIDA's other Canadian marketing campaigns, focusing on Niagara County as an attractive business location just across the border. This marketing campaign generated a number of new business leads. The Center for Economic Development has continued to work with the Niagara Frontier Transportation Authority and the Buffalo Niagara Enterprise to market the Niagara Falls International Airport. In 2010, two new airlines announced scheduled flights to the airport, joining Direct Air in providing passenger service to Niagara County. Spirit Airlines will provide service to Fort Lauderdale and Myrtle Beach, while Vision Airlines will provide service to Northwest Florida and Miami. These announcements demonstrate the continued growth and future potential of the airport following the opening of its new terminal facility. The Center for Economic Development also continues to work with the NFTA to market Niagara Falls International Airport for cargo and logistics. In addition, the Center for Economic Development is working with its economic development partners to market the former U.S. Army Reserve Center site located adjacent to the airport for redevelopment.
the Vantage International Point Industrial Park in Wheatfield, where the offices of the Center for Economic Development are located, has seen a lot of development in recent years. As of the end of 2010, 109 acres of the park have either been developed or are under contract for development. This activity represents over $20 million in private investment that will ultimately create 400 new jobs in Niagara County. Only 50 acres of the park remain available for development. And in addition, as of 2010, the Vantage Center multi-tenant business office facility has been fully leased. In 2010, Niagara County and a consortium of regional stakeholders joined nearly 1,100 communities across the United States in responding to Google's request for information issued in connection with the proposal to bring ultra-high-speed broadband internet service to one or more pilot communities in the U.S. The Department of Economic Development assisted in the consortium, which was led by Niagara County Data Processing and marketing the Niagara region for the project. Google is expected to make an announcement sometime in 2011. Niagara County continues to work in partnership with the Niagara Tourism and Convention Corporation to promote Niagara USA as home to one of the best freshwater sport fisheries in the world. The region is marketed at conventions and industry trade shows across the U.S. to bring visitors to Niagara County and potentially sport fishing related industries as well. A study by Niagara University indicates that the sport fishing industry has a $30.2 million dollar annual economic impact on the Niagara County economy. Niagara County Center for Economic Development conducted a number of outreach initiatives in 2010 aimed at businesses, developers, and public officials, including the following. Center for Economic Development Business Workshops, Development Opportunities Familiarization Tour, Niagara County Business Growth and Retention Program, Niagara County Economic Development Alliance, Focus on Niagara Television Show, Business Ambassador Newsletter, Strengthening Niagara Email Blasts, and New York State Affiliate Data Center. Every year since 2004, the Niagara County Center for Economic Development has conducted several business workshops in the cities, towns, and villages of Niagara County. The Center for Economic Development works with the Niagara County Community College Small Business Development Center, Niagara County Employment and Training Department, and Empire State Development Corporation to host workshops to provide information on incentives available to help Niagara County businesses grow and strengthen their bottom line. In 2010, business workshops were held in the towns of Newfane, Royalton, Wheatfield, and Lewiston. A new outreach initiative in 2010 was the Niagara Business Familiarization Tour. The Center for Economic Development partnered with the Town of Lockport IDA and the Niagara County Economic Development Alliance to host this first ever event. The tour, which was held on September 30th, drew over 60 participants, many of whom were commercial developers, realtors, accountants, and attorneys. The purpose of the tour was to create awareness among site selectors and corporate decision makers about business development opportunities in Niagara County. Tour highlights included the new Niagara Falls International Airport Terminal, Vantage International Point Industrial Park, the Town of Lockport Industrial Park and Yahoo Data Center, and the Woodlands Corporate Center in the Town of Wheatfield. The Niagara County Department of Economic Development has administered a countywide business growth and retention program since 2000. The department continues to conduct outreach to an average of 60 companies annually and works with economic development partners across the region to bring assistance to companies looking to retain and or grow jobs in Niagara County. In 2010, this program resulted in assistance to several Niagara County companies, including Precious Plate, Impressive Imprints, and the Barden and Robinson Corporation. Niagara County Economic Development Alliance is another outreach mechanism. 
The mission of this working group, comprised of economic development professionals from over 30 agencies, is to provide a wide range of support services to business and to coordinate and facilitate the provision of those services. In 2010, the Niagara County Department of Economic Development continued to produce and host the Focus on Niagara Cable Television program. The program provides viewers with the latest information on economic development programs and initiatives within the department, as well as economic development partners within the region. In 2010, program content included information on Niagara County IDA programs, the new Niagara Falls International Airport Terminal, Empire State Development's new programming, including the Excelsior program, Niagara County Sport Fishing, Niagara USA Chamber Events, the North Tonawanda History Museum, economic development programs through National Grid, and more. The Center for Economic Development also conducts outreach to businesses through regular correspondence mechanisms, including its Business Ambassador Newsletter, which is published quarterly and is available in both print and electronic format as well as monthly email blasts through the Chambers of Commerce in Niagara County, which provide information on matters of interest relating to economic development. The Niagara County Department of Economic Development also conducts outreach to municipalities as part of its responsibilities as a local affiliate data center under contract with New York State. As a designated affiliate, the Department of Economic Development worked with its partners in the region to prepare municipalities for the 2010 census. The focus of these preparations was to ensure that a complete count was conducted in all 20 of Niagara County's municipalities. As a result of these efforts, Niagara County had a 77% participation rate in the 2010 census, which was higher than the state participation rate of 67% and the national participation rate of 72%. The Center for Economic Development was instrumental in securing a significant amount of grant funding for economic development projects in 2010. The Center for Economic Development helped Metallic Systems secure a $400,000 grant from the New York State Office of Community Renewal to assist expansion at the company's Wheatfield plant. The grant will be used to construct a 36,000 square foot building to house manufacturing of a new product line. The Center for Economic Development also helped Glow Metallurgical secure a $1.8 million grant from the New York State Department of Transportation Freight Rail Assistance Program. The grant will be used to construct 2,800 feet of new railroad track and five turnouts, as well as to relocate an existing at-grade crossing and rehabilitate 1,500 feet of existing CSX track. In addition, the Center for Economic Development received a $300,000 grant from National Grid to prepare shovel-ready development sites in Niagara County. The grant will be used to fund necessary environmental studies and completion of an application in New York State for official shovel-ready certification, making the sites immediately ready for development. The Department of Economic Development received a $900,000 grant from the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency to supplement the Niagara County Brownfields Cleanup Revolving Loan Fund. The funds will be used to provide low-interest loans to private sector companies and grants to municipalities for cleanup of brownfield sites. Funding will focus on projects that maximize job creation, create economic benefits for the community and wherever possible, promote sustainable development, and renewable energy in accordance with the terms of the grant. In total, $3.4 million in grant funding was secured by the Niagara County Center for Economic Development in 2010. In addition to securing funding, Niagara County also awarded funding through the William G. Maine Jr. Business and Community Enhancement Program. Through this program, Grants are provided to eligible Niagara County business associations and community organizations for bricks and mortar projects and promotional materials to help improve the business community. The program is capitalized through funding from the Niagara Falls Bridge Commission. In 2010, over $40,000 in funding was awarded 
to 20 business organizations in Niagara County through this program. Niagara County has an ambitious economic development agenda for 2011. In 2011, the Center for Economic Development will focus on the following. Business growth and retention. Brownfields redevelopment. Shovel-ready site preparation. Agribusiness development. Tourism and waterfront development. Commercial development. Industrial development high-tech industries, marketing and outreach, and New York State Economic Development Councils. In 2011, the Business Growth and Retention Program will monitor companies such as Delphi, General Motors, St. Gobain, DuPont, Occidental, Candlelight Cabinetry, Taylor Devices, International Fiber Corporation, and other major employers in the county. Niagara County will reach out to companies proactively to provide support and help them maintain their Niagara County operations and hopefully expand and create new jobs in Niagara County as well. The Niagara County Brownfields Program will conduct additional site assessment and remediation work to clean up contaminated properties and help return tax delinquent properties to the county tax rolls. The Center for Economic Development will market the Brownfields Cleanup Revolving Loan Fund program to local municipalities, nonprofit organizations, developers, and businesses. In addition, the Department of Economic Development will work to secure additional grant funding for site assessment and cleanup work to be conducted throughout Niagara County. We'll also allocate the $1.17 million in available Brownfields Cleanup Revolving Loan Funds for remediation of contaminated properties. Using the grant funds awarded by National Grid, the Center for Economic Development will work in partnership with its regional economic development partners to prepare an approximately 170-acre site in the town of Cambria and an approximately 220-acre site in the town of Niagara for New York State shovel-ready certification. The goal in creating shovel-ready development sites in Niagara County is to ensure that the county is on the short list of site selectors seeking development sites for high-tech and advanced manufacturing operations. The pre-development work to be conducted will address all site-specific permitting and environmental review processes in advance, reducing overall development costs and lead time to begin construction and expediting and incentivizing development. Consistent with ongoing efforts by Niagara County's economic development partners to expand agribusiness in the region, the Center for Economic Development will work to attract additional wineries to the Niagara Wine Trail, as well as attract more companies like the H2 Grow Hydroponic Greenhouses in the town of Lewiston and the Woodcock Brothers Brewing Company in the town of Wilson. The Center will continue to encourage new agribusiness, including value-added industries. Consistent with ongoing efforts by Niagara County's economic development partners to expand the hospitality and tourism industry in the region, Niagara County will encourage tourism and waterfront development by providing support for projects such as the restoration of the Erie Canal Flight of Five Locks, a regional agenda priority, and the Olcott Harbor Breakwater Project, another regional agenda priority. Niagara County will also work to develop the Niagara River Greenway, including connections with the Erie Canalway, Niagara Wine Trail, and the Seaway Trail. In addition, Niagara County will continue to promote sport fishing in the region, as well as provide support for other projects that promote hospitality and tourism development in Niagara County. Also consistent with efforts to promote hospitality and tourism in the region, the Center for Economic Development will encourage commercial development by providing support for the Gateway Harbor Inn project in the city of North Tonawanda, also a regional agenda priority. In addition, the Center will monitor projects in the city of Niagara Falls 
such as renovation of the former Inn on the River in LaSalle to be opened as a Four Points by Sheridan, reconstruction of the former Fallside Hotel and Conference Center near Niagara Falls State Park, and construction of a Ramada Inn and Microtel on Niagara Falls Boulevard. The Center for Economic Development will also continue to actively market the Opportunity Zones program to new and existing businesses. Consistent with ongoing efforts by Niagara County's economic development partners to expand the advanced manufacturing, clean tech, and logistics industries in the region, the Center for Economic Development will market the former Niagara Falls U.S. Army Reserve Center site for redevelopment, a regional agenda priority. The Center for Economic Development will also provide support to close the Naram Pack Industries and Green Tire Systems projects in the city of Niagara Falls. The Naram Pack project involves construction of a 250,000 square foot green manufacturing facility that will produce high performance, energy efficient, lightweight liner board that will be sold to companies that manufacture corrugated boxes. Naram Pack Industries will invest $407.5 million, create 110 permanent jobs, and create 400 jobs during construction. The Green Tire Project involves construction of a tire reprocessing facility that breaks down waste tires into their basic elements, which are resold. The project will result in $18 million in new private investment and the creation of 50 new jobs. As Niagara County IDA Chairman Henry Sloma pointed out, these projects signify that Niagara County is open for business and that we have many positive attributes, including a productive workforce for companies to compete and grow in a global economy. Consistent with ongoing efforts by Niagara County's economic development partners to expand advanced business services, including data centers, and further expand clean tech industries in the region, the Center for Economic Development will encourage development of high tech industries. The center will provide support to close the Verizon Data Center and Edwards Vacuum Projects. Edwards Vacuum produces high-tech vacuum systems for the semiconductor, solar, and LED industries. The company will consolidate its operations into a new building in the town of Wheatfield, investing over $3 million and creating 25 new jobs. The Verizon project, as many know, involves construction of a new $4.4 billion data center in the town of Somerset, which will create 60 new high-paying information technology jobs. The Center for Economic Development will work to capitalize on the critical mass building around the IT sector in Niagara County. In much the same way, the Center will also work to build critical mass around the green technology sector by attracting more companies to Niagara County, like Globe Metallurgical, Metallic Systems, and Ashland Advanced Materials. The Center will work to attract high-tech companies in the life sciences industry to Niagara County as well. In 2011, the Center for Economic Development will continue to engage in a number of marketing and outreach initiatives within Niagara County, including continued administration of a business growth and retention program, sponsoring Niagara County business workshops, publishing the quarterly business ambassador newsletter, hosting the Focus on Niagara cable TV show, sending out monthly strengthening Niagara email blasts to the Chambers of Commerce, and continuing partnerships with the Niagara Economic Development Alliance. Initiatives that will extend beyond Niagara County include, include marketing properties adjacent to Niagara Falls International Airport for development, working with the Buffalo Niagara Enterprise to attract new companies to Niagara County, and continued print advertising targeting the Canadian market. Center for Economic Development will also market development sites and industrial parks across Niagara County to businesses and developers, including Vantage International Point, Niagara Falls International Airport, Niagara Industrial Air Park, Lockport Business Park, Buffalo Bolt Business Park, and the Woodlands Corporate Center, just to name a few. Finally, the new administration in Albany has announced that it will set up 10 regional economic development councils across New York State focused on creating new jobs. The councils will be established 
is a public-private sector partnership coordinated through Empire State Development. They will be tasked with creating economic development plans that are prepared from the bottom up through local, county, and state agency involvement. According to the governor, the councils will coordinate all existing economic development funding funneled to their region from the state. In addition, a $200 million economic development fund is proposed to be created to be awarded competitively based on economic development plans. Niagara County will closely monitor the governor's proposal and take an active role in the regional economic development council set up for Western New York. It has been my pleasure to present the 2011 Niagara County Economic Address. As you can see from this report, the Niagara County Department of Economic Development and Niagara County Industrial Development Agency are working tirelessly to improve the economic climate in Niagara County. We have concluded a very busy and productive year, but we are poised to make even greater strides in the coming year. Thank you.